Hey guys, Tasha here from Start a School Crochet. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do the really cool trick on adding your own logo icon or clip art, little yarn ball, whatever you want to add to your WordPress website. Now I use WordPress and I'm using the theme Redwood. I really like Redwood. It's simple and it's easy to uh, modify. So this is my little Starburst logo and I wanted to create a bulleted list every time I create one the fonts really small the, the font doesn't match my theme font and also the bullets are just really small and kind of unsightly so I'm going to show you guys how to do this today okay so the first step would be take your uh, logo or little icon and you want to make it a transparent so you're going to need to use a photo program where the background is removed. So I use a .gif or a .png file. A lot of them are on the internet. You can already find them. If you want to turn your own little logo into one, you can use Photoshop and just remove the background with this magic eraser tool. You just click on the magic eraser, then you click on the photograph and it automatically deletes the background um, if the lines are um, delene delineated pretty good. So. Um, in the meantime, the first thing you're going to need to do is get your photograph ready. So what you, what I did here was I exported my PNG file. I do export, export as. It's going to take just a second. Unless it didn't read, it did read. Okay. So it's kind of tiny right there you want to export it as a png with a transparency and then i i set mine to 30 and when you set it to 30 by 30 pixels it'll automatically um, populate the rest of these for you then export all and then you save your file so i've already done that so i'm going to go back over to the website and you're going to go ahead and add the new media So it's on my desktop and it's Starburst 2, so I'm going to get that. Once it loads up, you're going to grab the URL, go over here and click Edit. Mind you, this is just for WordPress. I'm not really sure how to do this in other. And then here's your URL for your photograph that's on your website. Do Control C, which is a copy, and then you're going to go over to the Customize section of your website. So scroll down to here where it says customize. And here's where you're going to find the custom CSS section, which most themes will let you customize the cascading style sheets. That's what CSS means. So if this is scroll down to custom CSS, and you can see here is where I've made kind of my changes to customize my website with different fonts and stuff. This right here is all the code, starting with that little squiggly line. Let me see if I can move over a bit. This right here is the code, starting with this UL, going down to that little squiggly. That's the code for the bulleted list. So. You're going to need to create a name for your class. This is called the class, minus Starburst. Uh, you can name it anything you want, like star or circle or, you know, Tasha's, Tasha's list. Just keep it consistent throughout the code that's regarding that. And you can see I used it again here. So here is where I changed the font. This is the code for the font. And this is the code for the bulleted list. So in here, you'll find this is where you're going to paste your URL of your photograph. So once you guys do that, when you actually go back to your blog post, which is here, you're going to head over to the right side where it says when you're clicked on your block, this is using the new updated version of WordPress. You click on your block, click on advanced, and you'll see where it says Starburst. 
that's because that's the what I named the class. So with, when you type that in here, it means it's going to pull all that information from over here and turn it into this on your website. I used Railway because that's the font I like to use. So you can do whatever you want. You can customize this however you want. And I'll put all the details down in my blog post. And that link will be down in the description below. And you guys, hit me up. Give me a subscribe and a like and a share. I would love that. I hope this helps. And please leave any questions on my blog or comment below. Thanks, guys. Happy crocheting.